Questions about the governor's vocabulary and Cory Booker's stationery. Time now for our weekly political roundtable with Republican strategist Chris Russell and Democratic strategist Steve Askew. Gentlemen, welcome back to the program. Good to see you both. Uh, you. There's, there's a, uh, some will call this a tempest in the teapot. Others say it's a revealing moment. Uh, and Senator Bono said it, it typifies something about the governor, which is she finds unappealing. And that is he supposedly at the Republican National Convention, had he not uh, been, a, a pre, I guess, preceded in his speech by a, uh, a biographical depiction of him in video that he had threatened to uh, supposedly use the F word on the, on the air and got the uh, people, the producers behind the program, to uh, agree to run the uh, biopic. Uh, does this bother either one of you or surprise either one of you if it were to be true, which we do not know? No. No. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. That was the no, longest question for the, the shortest The issue was answer. property taxes and affordability, Mike. No. No, it doesn't bother me. Does it, is this something that, as a, as a Republican, as a, as a Christie backer, that do you think that will be held against him or used against him? No, in I, again, I think it's part of this persona he's developed anyway, which people apparently kind of like. The fact that he's willing to, to push the envelope and, and be a little edgy. And the fact of the matter is, he got his video played. Well, it's the longest <laughs> wasted question I've ever asked on the air. All right, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's move on. The other thing about the, the Booker stationery, uh, Sussex County Dems, as we've seen earlier in this broadcast, mm -hmm. are unhappy, supposedly. Not supposedly, they say they're unhappy, that, that uh, he, he, Booker has essentially given the impression <clears throat> that he is the man that the organization has endorsed. You were involved mm -hmm. with Mr. Booker's campaign. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Well, this is a process debate, Michael, uh, that's going to be resolved, obviously. But, you know, the real issue here is very simple. Uh, we don't need more Washington. We need more people who can solve problems. And Cory Booker is the guy. Right, but, but I to think have that, that stationery know, like that, and eh. apparently in other counties as well, uh, it, some people say it's just misleading. Some people, I believe the this word is a, has been this used is a is tactic. disingenuous. This is a tactic that's been used many times before in many other campaigns, including campaigns that Governor Florio and against John Corzine, you know, we did all kinds of things with slogans and whatnot. It doesn't really mm -hmm. matter in the end. There is no down ballot race that's impacted by that at all. So it's a process debate. I think that in the end, again, people want solutions, not more Washington. And that's been the problem with some of Cory Booker's opponents in this election. Chris, do you find that part of the process? It, it is part of the process, but I mean, I, I, you know, Cory Booker's got, you know, I don't think this kind of, the election, the way this is setting up for him is not the way he would have written it up. He's got a, a scrum here. Uh, I, I, you know, he's not more Washington. Uh, to me, Cory Booker is a politician as a politician can be. Uh, to try to say he's somehow different or great. His record in Newark is going to be... Steve Lonergan? <laughs> no, his, oh! his record... And we're talking about Cory Booker. His okay. record in, in <laughs> Newark is going to be on, on, dis on display here, and he's going to have to stand up and defend it. I, I actually think the more he talks about nonsense like this helps Cory Booker. He needs to... If I'm his opponent, I put his record in Newark on, in the spotlight and make him defend it. Do you... Uh, you know, we also had the story today that uh, Booker's been... The court, the appellate division, has ruled against him on the vote that he took to fill the vacancy on city council a while back, which ended up that wild night, almost a, a near uh, <clears throat> disturbance, certainly, in, in the uh, council chambers there as all. Well. Do you find that something like that is potentially damaging to your candidate? No. Uh, we go right down the road right now, the TikTok diner, and ask someone, and they would look at us like we had four heads. Uh, they don't understand that kind of issue. I think people care about one thing right now. What are you doing for me lately? And I think when you look at the folks in Washington who are nice enough people, um, what are they doing to solve our problems besides being a part of the gridlock down there? And I think Cory Booker represents a refreshing change of attitude uh, of someone who's going to actually go down there, work across the party lines, work with people like my man Chris and other people to solve problems. That's what they care about right now, is not he, more is blame Is Booker game. a guy that you, that you Republicans think you really have a chance of knocking off in the general with either Dr. Eck or, or former Mayor Republicans Lonnie? haven't won this Senate seat since I've been taking breaths. So, I mean, to me, an August special election in, uh, on a Wednesday is something, or an sorry, an October special right. election on a Wednesday is probably the best chance we've had in a long time. It's, to me, it's an unusual election. It puts pressure on the Democrats to turn out their, their people. I think if there's ever a chance for Republicans to, to win the seat, it's an election like this. Well, before we go, one, one, uh, the governor's vocabulary, back to that, he's been using the word conservative to describe himself a lot lately. That's not an accident, is it? Listen, the governor's a very, very smart politician. I think what matters, though, with the difference between the governor and Cory Booker, if you want to talk about the two people we've been talking about here, is one gets results, one gets things done. I'm not sure Cory Booker, aside from being, it, listen, an, an incredibly smart, marketable guy, he is not someone who's gotten things done. He's not a problem solver. He's not a person with results on the resume. What I got to get done right now is say goodbye. Gentlemen, thanks for coming in. Have a great holiday weekend. You too, Mike. Thank you, you too, thanks. Mike.